Groundhog Day by Tom Seast Virtual Groundhog Day Yesterday, on February 2nd, 2021, the annual Groundhog Day went virtual because all the living creatures must observe government regulations, decrees, and mandates when it comes to COVID or coronavirus. The town didn't seem as festive because the film streamers didn't have the appropriate background noises of clapping, cheering, and so on to pipe into the live feed of the festive event. If you missed the live stream or the news feed, you can view it on this YouTube link. Another repeat. Bill Murray popularized Groundhog Day back in 1993 when he played the weatherman Phil Connors, who gets stuck in some weird time warp and keeps repeating the same day. At first, he is unwilling to accept his fate to repeat the same day and attempts to end his life daily. After a while, he accepts his fate and makes effort to improve his stature in life and up his dating game with his broadcast partner played by Andy McDowell. Personally, I love the movie and can watch it over and over again. You can pre preview the movie on YouTube at this link. Animal Forecast The ability of animals to accurately foretell the nature of the weather for the coming season is legendary and not really anything new. For years, farmers have, have observed the thickness of the pelts or furs of an animal to determine how rough the winter season will be. And it's not a science limited to just animals. Others have made various predictions based on the appearance, appearance of various plants. Human versus animals. In the ongoing contest between human predictions of events of, or weather and the projections by animals, it is really difficult to know who is correct more often. I suppose the animals don't keep score, and the scorekeepers always win. Six more weeks of winter. Apparently, the furry rat, or furry rodent named Phil, predicted that we'll have six more weeks of winter. So, I guess we all have to hunker down and expect to stay indoors, huddled around heaters or fireplaces for warmth. Natural Skeptic I'm a natural skeptic of Phil and all other animals getting it correct, as it seems most animals are more narrowly focused on getting their next meal, getting a little rest, and procreating to preserve the species. And, maybe we can all learn from the other species. They seem so relaxed. Human Skeptic I'm also pretty skeptical of most forecasts made by humans. It seems to me they rarely get their predictions correct, even when only attempting choices between two things. But I suppose that about half the evidence indicates I'm wrong about that, and about half says I'm right. Wrong again. I'll be wrong again, probably quite a few times today. And I'll do my best to learn lessons from each time I'm wrong. There really isn't anything wrong with that. Right again. And I'll probably be correct or right a couple of times today. And like the animals, I hope to get a little food or not and rest. I already did my part to further the species and you're welcome. Repeat. <clears throat> The days all blend together, and they seem to repeat themselves. Do your best. Make your choices. Take your risk. Grow. Experience pain. Live life until the next Groundhog Day. Me. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my days on this side of the soil, reminiscing about times, both good and bad. And when I ascend to my home beyond the sky, and they plant my remains below the earth, I will have done my best. Feel free to follow my ramblings at the links listed below.